Hey guys, how's it going? Crepan here. Today I want to give you guys a few games that highlight how I beat Warlocks, particularly those with Abyssal Enforcer in Arena. This card, the Abyssal Enforcer, is the single most powerful card in the game according to Hearth Arena's tier list. It beats every legendary, every class legendary, every epic, every rare, and every other common in the entire game, and right now it's in the common slot, and it has a gigantic occurrence bonus because it's part of the last released set. So, no surprise, Warlock is at the top of the arena game, and as a result of that, a lot of people are playing Warlocks, and those that get really anywhere tend to have a decent number of Abyssal Enforcers, so it becomes a card that you really have to play around. I think it might be the single most important card to know how to play around if you want to be successful in arena at this point in time. So how do you do it? How do you play around Abyssal Enforcer? Often you guys will see me play actually into the card just to kind of push stronger board state. The way you generally win against Warlock is by going face and assuming more risk than you otherwise would against any other class. The reason you need to do this is because you, you kind of defeat all the different win conditions of Warlocks when you reduce their hit points. Yes, you know, that's kind of the case in a lot of cases, but it's more so with Warlock because they can no longer utilize their hero power, which if they can utilize their hero power, it's the most powerful hero power in the game and they can no longer effectively use a lot of their cards, particularly a lot of their cards that clear the board, and if the reason why certain Warlock decks are at high wins is because they have like a handful of Abyssal Enforcers, making it so they can't play like five cards in their deck is a pretty big deal, particularly when they can't draw cards. So I've talked about how this card certainly can be very oppressive, <clears throat> but... It is actually a card you can play around more so than any other traditional board clear because of all the surrounding factors. You generally have to draft decks a bit more aggressively if you want to try to get to high wins these days. Again, largely because there's a lot of Warlocks and largely because a lot of these Warlocks have these health investment superpower cards. And yeah, you have to go face a lot, particularly leading up to the turns of Abyssal Enforcer. So, you know, in the early game, you can kind of play it a little bit safe, um, try to trade a little bit if, if you think you need to. But when it comes to like turns five and six, that state of the board where, you know, your opponent has about as much power as you do, the difference between you trading on that board and you just going all out face and hoping you don't get hit by another board clear like a shadow flame is the single difference in winning versus losing against the high wind warlock with abyssal enforcers it's on those turns where you really have to swing the game if if you go face and he goes face on you often enough you'll just be threatening lethal and even if you're not you're generally in a pretty good spot because if if you're both if if you're both at like 20 health and you can push him down to 10 and then he might be able to push you back to 10 both players being at 10 is going to favor the person who's not the warlock because you can still use your hero power because you can still use most of your cards because they don't actually take life to use you have to think about it this way. Even going into turn 7 where Abyssal Enforcer often gets dropped, if you play into Abyssal Enforcer and you put your opponent on 10 HP and he can't kill every single minion on your board, you generally have won that game. Even if he gets a really, really efficient, powerful board clear and tempo swing, if he goes from 10 down to 7 from the battle cry and like a 5 attack minion survives, is that 2? So it's it's really important to realize that. I think people think Warlock is just, you know, absolutely unbeatable and all that, but I think it couldn't be farther from the truth. Um, I really think Warlock is the best suited class to be at the top of Arena, and I very much appreciate the fact that it's no longer Mage. So hopefully with my tips and the games to come, showing you all of the strategy, you'll be able to uh, get a little bit more success in Arena and play around into but essentially around the abyssal enforcers and all the other big threats that were locked through at you so enjoy the clips hope you learned something and i'll see you guys in a little bit it's pretty damn good opener just need something to play on turn three I even another uh Fly even another two drop would work just fine wow Uh, all right, let's 
let's go. Cannot wait for Conceal to be killed, how about you? Uh, Conceal's not at the top of my hit list by any means. Not too sure. I wonder. Drag no stupid! Uh, fine. I might have to play the King's Defender next turn, so... Let's just make the attack here. Quest is not too bad. <sighs> oh, I think I can turn my microphone up. That's maybe a little bit better. <laughs> yeah, well, I guess I'm playing the weapon. Good riddance to conceal. Mm. I'll play Shadowverse today. I wasn't planning on it. Would you like me to? You're in trouble now! Yeah, I went face, because uh, if the 5-6 gets a face attack, I don't see myself losing this game. It's a bit of a gamble, but it might completely block him from playing any other... Uh, self-damaging cards. That's, that's a pretty big deal. He's gonna need a heal or a taunt. Usually warlocks have a few taunts, but he can no longer tap, so the chance he has one right now is not particularly high. And if he doesn't have a taunt right now, I, I don't think he's gonna win. Top deck siphon sword. Healed for 11 so far. It's quite a bit. the heal. This potion of polymorph that's actually pretty fucking bad. Seven burst damage without hitting himself. That's possible, but it's not very likely. It's pretty insane, dude. Going through taunts, going through eleven healed. So many possibilities. Mm. That's how you play around Abyssal Enforcer. For it would be a mistake. For the life 
You are not the boss of me. Oh, I really don't want to trade into that, but I think I'm going to have to. How do they always have that shit, dude? Tell me. Alright, let's do this. Mm. Feels like a Bissell Enforcer here. I think it's actually 100% Abyssal Enforcer. I think that trade is so horrible. It cannot possibly be that bad. Make it to 8 and 2 and have it be any other card. I was gonna attack there. Drink the power. I can't really help him that much. Well met. Mm -hmm. That can help him a lot. Never mind. What? How do you get a two word name? I've never seen it before. Does this guy have stealth? Can I pay for this feature, please? Are you fucking serious? Every single Warlock I played today had an on-curve Imp Gang boss. <laughs> so insane. That's like the zombie chat of turn 3. Total Holy fuck! I can't believe this is happening right now. Wait, what? What's up, bro? I got my shitty version of Abyssal Enforcer. What you got? 
Is this the same fucking guy? This can't be real. I think it's take your heal bot to work day. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm winning, but uh, this guy's playing the same deck that I just played. S same deck. Same deck. I just I just played I just played that deck twice in a row. Like not in a row, but twice in the last hour, right? It's alright, I guess. Warlock. 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 Mage Warlock. It's pretty insane. Like it's only been about a week since we've been seeing shit like this. But it has been a pretty rough week. I've lost my mind. All right, uh, Warlock average played against 17.8%. That's in MSG. Now let's just narrow that down to February, which is a pretty big part of MSG. Total corruption. Well, it's only 21.5%. Hmm. Okay, fine. Why did I see it so high? I must have had a smaller range. Okay, let's see. Last 10 days. Last 10 days. Last 10 days, 24% Warlock. Okay. So you play around Abyssal Enforcer, boys. <laughs> Alright, let's do let's do last five days. percent warlock. Okay. It's actually smaller than I thought. What doesn't group you? Well, he played um, the minion equivalent of Reno. Well, smarked my way to 11 wins is not bad.